there are some who are concerned, uh, wondering whether you know uh, Prime Minister Suga will be able to weather the storm and uh, mm. be able to be reelected and you know stay on for a number of years, or whether it's going to be revolving doors again. Because you know between um, Prime Minister Koizumi uh, stepped down after five years and five months, uh, from that period until Mr. Abe resumed the pre prime ministership, there were I think uh, five prime ministers or six prime ministers in a period of six years. Um, so, the, so, but I, didn't, I don't think anyone knows. I think uh, I just, as of recently as yesterday, I was talking with Tokyo about the political situation there. And I think um, a lot depends on what happens over the next uh, three or four months with the April elections, the July elections, as to uh, how stable and how long lasting this government will be. But on your second point, because as I mentioned before, there are not huge major problems between the US and Japan. And also because the, uh, government structure, the, the kind of the State Department and, and the Foreign Ministry and the Defense Department, Defense Agency or Defense Ministry and so forth, the, the, um, the kind of um, organization of government uh, is, is quite strong uh, between the US and Japan. So I, I don't think that, you know, having, I mean, it'd be preferable, obviously, to have a stable government. Uh, I mean, having, you know, a, a prime minister who will stay in office for uh, more than a year. And during the Clinton administration of eight years, there were seven Japanese prime ministers. Um, so uh, it's certainly preferable to have long-term stability, but um, not having that long-term stability, I, I don't think will have a, a profoundly negative impact on, uh, on US-Japan relations.